Hello, this is our final presentation and we proudly explain the rise and fall of Mr. Bossy. We are the team CEO, Samuel Rodriguez, Jessica Dillon, and Adam Kress. This project was part of the Finger Puppet TV show assignment for Principles of Management with Professor Diasio. Please visit us on our website at www.risefallmrbussy.wix.com slash show to know more about us and to download our show booklet. Now for our premise, in a highly acclaimed company, a manager hungers to proclaim his position power amidst of his personal power. However, a new leader, Mr. Wright, with strong management skills, uses his power effectively against the corrupted, powerful Mr. Bossy. Mission. Now to explain the concepts, first we had to learn the concepts in the Principles of Management course and then create a TV show using those concepts with a format that is friendly and easy to understand. Approach. We use animated and voice actor characters to demonstrate the concepts from the class. Our TV show uses relatable characters, comedic cutaways, and drama to advance the story with several conflicts that escalates on each episode. Target the target market of our show is college students enrolled in a management course who would like an entertaining way to learn some of the major concepts in the course or to learn some new concepts to apply to their job or organizations. Now to give you a brief introduction of our characters, first we have the founder. He is just the CEO and founder of the company, and just a supporting character that only appears in the story to emphasize the severity of Mr. Boss's intentions. Mr. Truman, he is the senior director who everybody likes, not because he has the position, but because he has earned his employees' respect. He led by example and helped others to develop themselves. Mr. Bossy, he is the new senior director who hungers for power and unethically becomes the CEO of the company. Mr. Wright, he is the replacement of Mr. Bossy as the new senior director. He has excellent leadership traits and likes to help people no matter the differences. Literally, I am here to help. Martha Thinker, she is the head writer and is an expert in planning, but in absence of a leader, she can become disoriented and lost. She is a full-fledged follower who has the ability to accept change. John Smart, he is the script writer. He is a reclusive and shy person who will do anything he is asked with no complaints, but he is a bit skeptical to towards change. change. And we do not agree. Louis A. Servoski, alias Lacey, he was hired as the accountant of the company, but he takes shortcuts to avoid his work. He is unloyal and volatile regarding who to follow and easy to extort due to his unethical perspective. Sure, I know where it is. Lo Ping. He is the graphic designer and was born in China, but he speaks perfect English since he was raised in the United States since he was three years old. He is underestimated since he is still not a U.S. citizen. Not pay us right. Juan Perez, he is the audio technician and undocumented immigrant from Mexico. He is a hard worker and also is underestimated since he is not a U.S. citizen. And now we want to present to you the director's commentary to explain how we demonstrate these concepts. In this episode, we see the retirement of Mr. Truman, who is well liked and respected in the company. So we decided to have the founder acknowledging Mr. Truman's contribution to the company. So in this scene, we see the founder saying, Mr. Truman directed his team by motivating and leading by example. As we can see, we describe directing with this scene, showing Mr. Truman on his desk and the team mimicking his same movements, representing his effective interaction, his leading, and his managing of the group. Thanks to his effective leadership, our viewers enjoyed the best episodes of Star Masters. And here we show his leadership skills. 
this is why we show this scene with all of them talking about the plans. Now the footage of the Star Master show shows how this affected leadership reflected in the organization since the show itself was successful. Do you mean this one? It is not surprising to say that Mr. Truman, with his personal power, has influenced our lives with his encouraging, charismatic, and trustworthy communicative skills. And here we show his personal power by presenting him in a humorous way, providing motivation to his teammate by saying, we can do this, and you can do this. His leadership, and this is why we present to you the key to success. Thank you. And here we provide Mr. Truman with the key to success to show that he was that great manager that is leaving. And at the end, we show the face of John representing darkness, Lazy representing his fear of breaking bad, and Martha, well, she's a strong woman, but her face represents her gratitude. And now for the commentary for episode two. From this episode on, the concepts are going to be shown in a different way. First, we started this elevator scene with a conflict to provide the viewer with tension. Sir, do you want to see my new script for the new episode? No. Who do you think you are? I don't read crap. So, then Mr. Bossy gets higher against the better judgment of the board members and without the consideration of their valid selection techniques. So we present the definition of the term when the female board of directors says, I don't think we should hire him. He was smoking the whole time. Besides, we should follow our valid selection techniques and choose a candidate that will perform the best. And then the founder says, I am sure that he's telling the truth. We do not need to do any educational background. He said he graduated from the University of Pay. Nobody will be more successful. So his cunning personality gets him into the company and on his way to taking over. Then Mr. Bossy uses his influence tactic of pressure with Martha and John. And this is used to show Martha's planning skills and John's technical skills. When Mr. Bossy says, Martha, I need you to apply your planning skills to make a plan that impresses the board of directors. I don't care how you do it. Just get it done. Oh, okay, okay, boss. And you, John, I need you to show your technical skills and complete all the scripts of the show by today. And don't dare to say no. Okay, sir. This planning and technical scene will be reinforced with an upcoming scene. Hey. But now Mr. Bossy uses the same tactic of pressure by threatening to fire Lewis. However, I have other plans for you. I need you to sabotage the founder's work. Or you're fired. Yes, Mr. Bossy. Falsify the documents and transfer the money of the show to my account. So he helps him to get the founder of the company fired, in which the founder acknowledged his mistake for not following the valid selection techniques. Resignation. Oh, Mr. Boss, I should have followed those valid selection techniques. As you can see, they work tireless to produce great planning and quality, not realizing that Mr. Bossy is going to claim it as his own hard work. Impressive planning, Mr. Bossy. The long term, short term, and operational plans look great. Plus, these are scripts written to perfection. That is how I roll. Everything is working. We have As you see, planning was defined here, and the technical skills were shown with the perfection of the scripts. Well, we have a new position and the shareholders want you to be the new CEO. He becomes the CEO, and then we show the new senior director as a foreshadow of the changes that are about to come. Conclusion. Well, as our general conclusion of management, we believe that management is not a systematic approach. A manager needs to adapt to fast changing environments and need to be open to new experiences in addition to being able to apply resistance to change techniques. Selection. Now for our reflection from the development of the project, I, Samuel Rodriguez, learned the concept of effective leadership 
because I implemented successful delegation, which was accepted by the whole team. And in turn, we ended up accomplishing the task successfully. I also learned the concept of directing since I influenced the others to finish early. And to accomplish this, I had to interact effectively with them while creating the show. I, Adam Kress, learned the concepts of force field analysis. Eventually, I learned to achieve equilibrium by pitching in and helping when the slack from the restraining force of an uncooperative group member was causing problems. And personal power. I leveraged my individual characteristics, namely my technical contributions, to make the group experience and final product better in the long run. I, Jessica Dillon, learned the concept of a team. I made sure to contribute to the team a level of work that I could feel proud of. I stepped up, along with my team members, to make up for our other missing group members. I also learned the concept of cohesion. I offered to help my fellow group members however I could, and I offered suggestions to a fellow group member for what could be done to help with the cohesion of the team. Group reflection. When we saw the unorthodox setup of this class with Professor Steven Diasio, we thought, a show? <laughs> Who can learn with this? We became skeptical. However, we jumped in and adapted to the situation, and we integrated as a team. And as individuals, we learn the concepts by reflecting on them. Recommendations. We recommend other students to start brainstorming early and not to wait until the last minute. This is a fast-paced class, and procrastinating will be your worst enemy. Efficiency and effectiveness is a must. Set a communication channel as soon as possible. We use announcements on Canvas to announce new group assignments and discussions to accomplish several of the assignments. We also text at each other as a reminder. Remember, email is a great tool against social loafers or free riders. Google Doc came to be a great tool for this project as well. We use it to create the initial outlines of design challenges, presentations, and booklet. And it serves as a great communication slash virtual meeting tool. Also, after the initial outline was done in Google Docs, we copy and pasted the material to the respective tools. Storyboard.com, GoAnimate.com, PowerPoint, or any other tool that you might use. Now, as our final recommendation, for those students who are starting now, if you're working full time and are taking five classes before making that an excuse for not contributing, drop the class and look for another class where you do not have to work in groups. This class highly emphasizes team development and is a fast-paced course.